I guess this is a great time to talk about um, what yeah. I what I just said. Uh, the the API keys that we have. Um, so if you use Apollo Graph Manager, uh, whenever you create a new service, whenever you create a new graph, you're given uh, you're given an API key uh, that and that API key allows you to uh, to register operation or re yeah register operations, to register schemas, to check schemas. This this API key is pretty much um, all inclusive. It's it's what you need to work with the Graph Manager. Uh, it looks something like service uh, colon my service name, um, then a whole bunch of random nonsense afterwards. That's a production key, um, everyone. Go and what it. I was Go just saying, is, <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you run this key, if you run something with this key and it works, okay. I mean, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> it probably won't, but if it does, uh, kudos. Um, we actually already have a key in this project. We we hid the file in the file tree, so I don't accidentally yeah, show you right. a valid key uh, because we don't want somebody trolling us, going and wiping out my schema yeah. <laughs> midstream. Um, so uh, what I was just saying a minute ago is the error that you would encounter if you didn't have this key would say like, hey, you don't have uh, an Apollo service key, like you need that to run. Um, and, and you drop that in a .env file. We call this .env example just so you could rename it .env and just fill in your service key after Apollo key. Um, but you don't, yeah, but um, but we already have that and we, we already have the service key. Uh, and the second thing that's gonna happen and what we're actually gonna set up in the config is the second portion, which is the service name. Um, so today, if you go set up a new, a new service in Apollo Graph Manager, it's not going to give you this. Um, it's going to give you what we call a user token. Um, and that essentially means, uh, you don't have to have a separate service key for every single project oh. you're working with. Uh, so if you have three separate, separate graphs, you don't need a separate service key for each graph. You have one user token. And then in your config or as a flag, when you run the command, you would just specify what the service got name it, is. Got it. So it, um, but if you do have a service key and a token or a name um, after it, then it can it can infer that for you. It can say, hey, we already know the service name. You don't need to specify the service name in a it, config. It is. Um, Service keys mostly would be used for environments like CI, where you don't want your CI box to have access to every graph that your company has uh, has access to. Maybe that makes sense. Um, <laughs> whereas a user, yeah, you want, yeah, a user like on your local development machine, yeah, you would want to have a user key, not a service key, just for That's sake really of convenience. Cool, um, it's how, how um, granular you can kind of get with the security there, right? Like, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and in the future we'll have uh, we'll have a, an easier way to set this key. Right now, you can either set it in a .env file. You can have it as an actual environment variable in your environment, uh, and you can also set it using flags uh, running the command itself. So you don't strictly have to have this file for this to work. Um, but we do have one hidden, um, so it actually does already exist yes. for us. 